<laughs> What's up guys, this is Sniping as a Habit and um, basically I accidentally deleted the first part of this video because I had to reformat my memory card and I totally forgot to copy it over to my computer so I'm just gonna start from the top alright first thing I got a low C mini 8 clear body uh, which I have already started to paint and I'm gonna show you guys I used liquid mask or uh, liquid masking and then uh, the second thing is something that I already have installed but it goes with the body and that is BAM the Ofna fluorescent yellow wing and I also dyed my back rims blue because the back of the body is going to be blue. Um, this is something that I've never really seen before. My local hobby shop got it in and I figured I'd give it a try. Um, I got it for $7.15 plus tax from Larry's RC. So this is the Ofna Racing and the part number is 40852 and the retail is $7.95. So yeah I think it's a pretty sweet upgrade and it's one of those things just like the rims these disc wheels they don't make them any other colors yet and like so basically you get yellow or white yeah yellow disc wheels so the blue is a really dark blue because it was harder to dye and then this wing low C I don't know what low C is doing but they're really losing quite a bit of money here if you ask me by not coming out with different colored wings and stuff and so yeah uh, by the way, this is just a stock Mini 8 body, so I'm going to go ahead and peel off the masking so that way I can paint the front part uh, fluorescent yellow. Um, so I'm going to start fast forwarding through here pretty quick. I might not even show the whole thing. We'll see what goes on. I got a new X-Acto knife, so here we go. Alright, so as you just saw in that last clip, this uh, liquid mask is very easy to take off. There it all is. Um, some of these little parts right here, I just had to uh, take my X-Acto knife and uh, just stick it up under there, for like under the edge, the corner, and uh, just peel it off. So we're going to do a quick little overview of the body. The front's all going to be uh, fluorescent yellow, so it's going to look like the blue is shedding into the fluorescent yellow if you understand what I'm saying that's why there's spots missing right here it's kinda like the blue looks like it's kind of a wrap coming off and then the little scoop thing is gonna be yellow same with this side got the peeling going on there and so yeah uh, let me get the yellow on and then I'll be back with uh, the conclusion of this video I guess and here is the final product. <clears throat> this, uh, I just pulled the cover off, the productive plastic cover. And here it is. Uh, there's a few spots where you can see the liquid mask. Uh, didn't seal that good, but whatever. And right here, I don't know what happened with the window mask, but somehow got uplifted. No big deal, though. But, uh,. I don't know about you guys, but this thing looks pretty badass. Just look at it. <laughs> this is a great looking truck now, if you ask me. It was good looking before, but now it's uh, got some hotter colors and it's a lot brighter, and I think it looks a lot better. 
Unfortunately, the blue on the rims doesn't match that blue, but that's just because I'm trying to dye a yellow part blue, so it's not going to be that bright. And yeah, um, more upgrades to come soon. I'm still waiting for one part to get in. So uh, rate, comment, and subscribe.